getting all caught up in our celebrity news this morning with TMZ producer Branson Quirk in for Michael, live from LA. Hello, hello. Good morning, happy Monday. <laughs> happy Monday, all right, all right, let's jump into it because, now listen, this Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey conversation, are we getting ahead of ourselves a little bit? It doesn't look to me like Mama was too much of a fan of Taylor. I didn't see a lot of eye contact or interaction. Well, honestly, I don't think we're getting it too ahead of ourselves here because, I mean, ultimately, you know, we know Travis Kelsey's really into Taylor. We know Taylor. I mean, it looks like she's pretty into him as well. So, uh, I mean, I mean, she was up there in the skybox with yeah. uh, Travis Kelsey's mom, Donna. Yeah. And uh, we actually had seen on social media as well that a few fans that were sitting near uh, that box had looked up and they saw Taylor chatting with Donna. And um, according to those fans, they were having amazing conversations. They were chit-chatting. Things were good. So... There is speculation, yes, that, you know, maybe maybe it wasn't the perfect, you know, it was maybe a little awkward at first. But, I mean, according to some fans, I mean, it came out, like it looks like Taylor and Donna got along pretty well. But, I mean, it's amazing because um, everybody had been speculating that Taylor and Travis had been dating. The last week, we've seen news story after news story that, uh, you know, we heard from Travis, then we heard from his brother. It was just a back and forth thing here. And then, you know, last night, we see Taylor in the skybox. She's cheering, as you can see right there. And it was just an amazing spectacle to see for fans of Taylor and fans of Travis. And the people that have been speculating this relationship can finally, you know, take a little bit of a sideline now because, I mean, come on. It looks like they're they're probably dating at this point. I mean, come on. It, she knows what she was doing. Well, and there's a few things I want to say. One is just uh, probably as a news person and just like a Pollyanna Southern girl, I do love the alliteration. So I like the Travis and Taylor name combo potential <laughs> for sure. TT, yes. right, perfect, so there's, it there's works perfect. There's something there, I like that. But also, you know, there's a stage before dating that we call talking. And I feel yeah. like that's where they are because they weren't even holding hands when they walked out. It just looked, it looked very stiff. I don't know, I don't know, it looked new. Well, Taylor's a huge, you know, Taylor's a huge star, and she knows exactly wherever Taylor goes, it's going to be a huge deal. So Taylor showing up in the skybox yeah. amidst all these rumors, she knew exactly what she was doing. So, I mean, in all of our eyes, I mean, it, 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 she knew she knew what she was doing, in my opinion. All righty, <laughs> all righty. We can't wait to see more. I do want to know, uh, are y'all taking bets there at TMZ? Do we think she'll write a song about them if it doesn't work out? I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed that Taylor's probably going to, you know, come out with an album or, or two about this. He at least a few songs. Up. He better not. And, it's called tight and pants. According to his history, it. he might. He might. <laughs> <laughs> he might. All right, let's talk about the writer's strike. Uh, very